Today I want to tell you the four things that I love to buy on Craigslist to sell on Amazon FBA for big money. I, I enjoy Craigslist. It's fun. It's, it's a really awesome concept that there's people who live by you in your area who are selling things. They want to get rid of stuff. They want cash. And, and you know what? We're looking for things to sell on Amazon FBA. So what a you know, perfect combination. So let me get right to it. The four things that I love to buy on Craigslist to sell on Amazon FBA. The first one is textbooks. Textbooks are an awesome thing to find on Craigslist to sell for big money on Amazon. Um, there's these, you know, if you live in a college town, even if you don't live in a college town, there might be people who come home uh, from their college uh, semester and they're wanting to sell their textbooks. Uh, if you can find those textbooks uh, and be able to go pick those up, you can turn that into much better money. Um, it's it's there's there's college students who you know they could sell their books back to a university bookstore but they might get like four bucks or five bucks um so they're looking forward to maybe getting ten to twenty dollars for their textbooks that you can turn around and sell on amazon for forty dollars a hundred dollars a hundred plus dollars i mean it's crazy the kind of roi you can get on textbooks so i encourage you to check out even if you don't live in a college town Search in your area on Craigslist for textbooks so you can find, pick them up, and sell them on Amazon. Number two, the second item that I like to look on Craigslist for to sell on Amazon is Legos. Legos are an awesome, um, you know, item to sell on Amazon. I mean, there are hardly any Legos that have horrible sales ranks. Uh, it, it, Legos, almost every time I send in Legos, they sell quickly. And I'm talking both new and used Legos. And when I say used, I mean collectible. You don't sell used Legos on Amazon. You sell collectible Legos. Um, that's just Amazon wants you to call them collectible instead of used. So you can go to Craigslist, search Legos. Some people have big, huge Lego lots. Some people have actually Lego sets that, you know, their kid put it together one time. It's been sitting on their desk for, you know, a year or two. They still have the instructions or the box maybe, or maybe their kid started putting it together and didn't really want to finish it. And so like just bag number one is open and the other four or five bags are still sealed. There's so many different possibilities of people just wanting to get rid of their stuff and they take their Legos and post them on Craigslist. And this is where you can find them. I found new Legos on Craigslist. I found collectible Legos on Craigslist that I've been able to sell on Amazon. Now, when I'm selling a collectible Lego set on Amazon, I make sure that number one, all the pieces are there. And that includes the stickers and uh, you know any other piece, the minifigs. In fact, sometimes the minifigs are, um, you know, make you can make even more money on the minifigs than the set themselves. But if you are selling a set, you want to make sure the minifigs are there. And if possible, the instructions in the original box. So if I'm selling a collectible Lego set on Amazon, I make sure to say all pieces have been counted for. Um, you know, includes the original box and the instructions. If I don't have the original box, I'd be sure, I'm be i sure that I note that in the item description. If the instructions are missing, I, I note that. Sometimes I'll print out instructions from online or include a piece of paper with a link telling the, them where they can buy, you know, download the instructions themselves. Uh, and I put that in the item description. So, um, and you know what? Even if you don't find sets on Amazon, uh, the minifigs, you can make good money on minifigs. Uh, we sold some Harry Potter minifigs uh, over Christmas that, you know, we, we did really good with those. We were able to, to get them for very, very cheap and sell them anywhere from $20, $30 to $40, I believe. Um, and so any, even if you just get a whole lot of Legos and you get a whole bunch, going through them and looking for the minifigs um, sometimes can can be very worth it so that's number two legos number three my personal favorite is board games i love board games y'all all know i'm addicted to board games i love them so much i wrote the book on it the reseller's guide to board games how to turn play money into real money and so I, one of the places i look for board games is craigslist and i can find new board games and collectible board games that I've been able to sell on Amazon. Sometimes people, they'll post that like they'll they'll post on Craigslist and they've just got like 15 board games in one lot, and I can go get 15 board games. Not all of them might be profitable, but most of them are. I mean, look them up. I always ask them if all the pieces are there. You know, you can send the person a question uh, through the Craigslist uh, email system, and you can ask them. You know, if all the pieces are there, and um, that's that. Most of the time, they say, "Well, I think so," and 
Uh, even just asking them if all the pieces are there and the, them replying they think so, you might be able to even say, well, counter offer with a lower price. But you can find board games. You can find out more about uh, reselling board games uh, by checking out my book. That's at fulltimefba.com forward slash board games. But yeah, Craigslist is a great place to find board games that you can buy really cheap, just right around the corner from where you live, and sell it on Amazon. So look for board games in your area on Craigslist. And then the fourth one, and this is what I'm actually out picking up today. I'm out doing some retail arbitrage, but I'm also picking up a Craigslist purchase. Ride on toys. And especially oversized ride-on toys. I don't know if there's a ride-on toy that's not oversized, because if a kid is riding on it, I'm sure it's oversized. But check out ride-on toys. You can you can search that in Craigslist. Ride-on toys. Um, you know, ride-on animals, ride-on cars, ride-on you know all sorts of different things that you can find on Craigslist. Um, and if you're if you're kind of freaking out a little bit about selling oversized items. Um, you know, we have a blog post for you over on the website, fulltimefba.com forward slash oversized, and we help break down the fears that most people have when it comes to selling oversized items, because there is a lot of money in oversized items. In fact, the, the item that I'm getting today, I'm buying it for 60 bucks, and it's selling on Amazon for $500. And I don't just mean it's priced at $500. I've looked at the Camel 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 data. It has sold in the past for $500 and before Christmas time even more than that. So, it make sure you check your data, Camel 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 data. That's really good ROI. Now I'm going to have to spend about an hour making my own box. I'm going to have to perform box surgery, make a Franken box type of thing. I'm going to need to take two really big boxes, put them together so that it will fit so I can send this item to Amazon. I want it to go to Amazon FBA. I could probably make $100 more selling it through FBA than doing it merchant fulfilled and sending it uh, you know, mailing it to the person directly myself. So go to Craigslist, check for these items, write on toys, board games, textbooks, Legos, the and, and uh, there's more stuff that you can find to sell on Amazon, but those are my four favorite. You can find them right around the corner, and it's a win-win for both you and the person who's selling it on Craigslist. They're getting rid of their stuff, they're getting cash, and you're getting an item that you can take to Amazon and sell for good money. So check it out, and and a few little uh, help, extra tips to help you um, in making some money on Craigslist. There's programs called, I think it's called Notacraig, N-O-T-I-C-R-A-I-G. Um, and it's it's something that you can go to Notacraig, N-O-T-I-C-R-A-I-G.com, and it notifies you when a new item is listed on Craigslist. So you can go to, you know, type in your area, um, like for me, it's the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I can go to notacraig.com and I can type in board games or, uh, you know, textbooks or whatever, and um, and and they send you an email notification when something new pops up in your in that listing. Uh, there's another website called ifttt.com forward slash Craigslist, and ifttt stands for if this then that. So if TTT, if this then that, ifttt.com forward slash Craigslist, and you can set up something where it's like, if the word textbook shows up on Craigslist.com forward slash Dallas, then email me, you know, at the, you know, and so it, it works it out for you. So you get notified. So you don't even have to spend all day searching on Craigslist. You can have these programs searching for you and sending you the information to your inbox. That way you can find. Uh, find this stuff and go out, pick it up, sell it on Amazon for good money. Now, as with anything in life, you want to be smart. You don't want to be stupid. You want to be sure you stay safe. Safety first. If you're meeting somebody to um, to make the exchange for the cash for the item, be sure you meet in a public place. You don't want to go to their house or their apartment complex or in the alley behind the bowling, you know, alley. Um, so you want to be sure you're you're in a safe place. If possible, bring a friend. Um, if you can't bring a friend with you, maybe have a friend on the phone and have your phone on the whole time so they can hear the audio of what's going on just to be safe. 99.9 .9 repeating percent of the time, I'm sure Craigslist 
uh, transactions are safe and fine, but you want to be make sure that you take precautions. Your life is valuable. Your life is precious. You don't want to mess around with anything um, and just meet in a public place, make the transaction and go. And then go as fast as you can to list it on Amazon because the faster it's listed, the faster it's sent to Amazon, the faster you can get paid. So that's how I've been able to find good stuff on Amazon. I mean, good stuff for Amazon that I've been able to find on Craigslist. And I know you can too. So check out those items, books, uh, you know, textbooks, board games, Legos, and ride-on toys. And, um, and you can make good money on Amazon selling those things. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up below. That would be really cool. And if you have a comment or a question, you can do that below too. I'll do my best to reply as soon as I can. And if you want to see any of the links that I talked about during this video, I click on the description below. You'll find the links there. You'll be able to go quickly to right where you're wanting to go. And if you want to be sure you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, uh, be sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified when I have new videos come out and, and you won't miss out on any of the free Amazon FBA training that goes on right here. And if you want to find out more about me and Full-Time FBA, head on over to the website, fulltimefba.com. Uh, once you're there, you can click subscribe. You can get some free PDFs that will help your Amazon FBA business become easier. Uh, and check a look at the blog. We have a lot of tutorials, blog posts, uh, videos, and, and resources that can help you uh, make Amazon your full-time job with only spending part-time hours. Some good stuff. I hope to see you there, so uh, be sure you click subscribe. I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.